everybody. This lesson is dividing and simplifying square cubed terms. That's a squared root and a cubed term. Now, for this, you'd have to look back on one of my videos showing you the rules of indices. This is an indice, it's an indice. Yeah, these are called indices, these little things, or an index number. But it's called the law of indices, and we have to follow these rules to get a correct answer. Now, we're going to be using one of them today, and that's the dividing one. So, when you divide, which a fraction is, remember, a fraction is a divide, it means you subtract, you minus any indices. If you understand that by watching me the videos, carry on. If not, see if you can pick it up. If not, go back and look at the video. So, few examples from before, just to warm you up. 5 divided by 15 is 3. There's a Y attached. 5 divided by 30 equals 6. That's our new expression. Remember, it's not an equation because an equation would have an equal sign at the end. Another example, 2 divided by 8, because we always divide the numbers first, which is 4, it's attached to an x. 2 divided by 12 is 6, so it's 4x plus 6. Right. Now we're going to use these rule of indices. 2 divided by 12 is 6. That's great, we understand that. So, using the minus one, if you think this is two lots of x's, and we've got one x, but we've got to subtract this x. So, that's what we've got now written down. So, it's two x's here. Using the rule of indice, divide, it's subtract, and then what we've got at the bottom, which is one x. So that leaves us with 1x. Therefore, we've got 1x. That's the answer. Let's do another one. So we've got y and a y. It's a divide, so we're going to minus, and we've got a y there. So we know whatever the answer is, it's only going to have one y. So 2 divided by 36 is 18. So the answer is 18y. Let's do another one. We know that there's, it's a squared, so there's going to be two m's. It's a divide, so we're going to subtract, and we've got one m. So whatever answer is, is only going to have one m. 5 divided by 45, which is 9m. Okay, so they're standard, nice and easy, I hope. Using exactly the same, so divide, and we've got a squared number. So 2 divided by 12 is 6. We've got y squared. Now, is there a y underneath? No, there is not. So we're just going to keep this as y squared plus 2 divided by 6 is 3. There you go. Have enough to do anything here because there is no Y there. If there was a Y there, yes, we would have had to do a minus. Same again. 4 divided by 16 equals 4. <clears throat> Jeez, mate. X squared is attached to it. There's no X at the bottom. And 4 divided by 8 equals 2. That's your answer. 2 divided by 28 is 60. It's attached to a W squared. There's no W at the bottom. Subtract 2 divided by 8 equals 4. And that's your answer. And one last one. 5 divided by 100. We all know that. That's 20. Is there real X at the bottom? No. So let's keep that as it is. 
5 divided by 50 is 10 minus 10. Okay, lots of examples there. So we have 4 divided, actually I'm going to change that because I think you've moved on. I'm going to put W at the end of this and that one and there and there yeah let's do with that okay so we have four divided by 24 which is six and here we've got four three w's haven't we we've got the w yes and the w at the bottom so what have we got left we've got w squared so in theory, we've just done W3, W cubed, subtract W equals W squared. So the answer there is 4 divided by 12, sorry, yeah, 4 divided by 12 is 3. So that would be your answer, 6 W squared plus 3. Let's do another one. Same again. So what? I would do first is 2 divided by 50. Obviously, that's 25. Got 1 W, 3 Ws, and we've got to subtract. So that's now going to be W squared plus 2 divided by 10 is 5. Another one. 7's into 42. Well, 7's into 42 goes 6 times. x cubed minus x, I mean, another way of doing it is it cross that off, cross that, and then that becomes x squared. Minus 7 divided by 21 equals 3. And then one last one, same again, 2 divided by 84, 2 into 4, 8, Go four, two's into two, go one. Cross that out. It's now become a y squared and two divided by four is two. There we have it. Lots of different types of examples there. Nothing too taxing on the brain, just a few lear learning curves and learning one of your indices when it comes to using squared or cubed terms. Question here for you. That's your question. Try it and then you should get this as your answer. If you don't, look back at the examples and see where you've gone wrong. Okay, hope this helps. And remember to look back at my other videos with the law of indices first, if that will help you. Bye.